Salman Najmi is a famous local artist and a painter. He comes from a multi-talented family as his father is a well-known musician and his brother is also a renowned musician. His father is the brigadier Dr. Barak and Najm who has composed most of the orchestral arrangement for local television. Well, for um, as long as I can remember, I've been interested in art, interested in drawing, painting. Since I've been a child, I've been sketching and uh, drawing on walls, um, tables at school, getting into detention and scribbling at, on tables in detention. Um, I, I, I was able to hone my craft and work harder on, my, um, on establishing my artistic style um, during the IB course I did in high school and uh, that's when I started painting and um, that's when I developed a very strong relationship with the uh, art of painting and uh, I said I did my um, mass, um, BA in interior and spatial design because I wanted to move, uh, move it, I wanted to move away a bit from the painting and work on something more applicable but um, and then I came back from uh, University of the Arts London um, and um, worked as an interior designer for a year in Bahrain and then decided that was not for me so I went back to London and got my masters from the Royal College of Arts in painting. Um, well not necessarily I think uh, it's you know hardships do come and go but uh, a lot of them do inspire the work and uh, a lot of my work does come from hardships I find that when I'm under pressure or tension that is where I create the best However, I feel like when I'm free and um, have an open schedule and don't really have a lot going on, it's very difficult for me to create work. I feel like art, for me, in a way, is an outburst, is something that has to, in a way, marinate inside of me to then let out. But um, it's difficult for me to consciously cook up um, these creative impulses and uh, it's much easier and better for them to happen subconsciously without my realization as a form of escape. Um, I've only shown at um, the annual art show in Bahrain. Uh, I've shown twice there. Um, however, I've had a few exhibitions in London, um, last one being in the Saatchi Gallery. And um, I've had exhibitions in Saudi, uh, Dubai, um, Milan, and, uh, and a few other places, yeah. I think the reason why my art is different because it is me and I think that um, the only, only you, because everything is a continuation of the past to a certain extent but when you are yourself and you work from within your own self it, it's very difficult to imitate or be similar to anyone else and um, I find that um, being subconscious with my work and not allowing myself to think too much about what I'm going to do gives me the opportunity to not to, to detach myself from familiarity and be unique. Or the creative process or even being an artist or living living in a setting that is infused with art um, promotes sensitivity. You become more sensitive and more aware and um, it's also a very good and strong way to keep your mind working, stimulates your mind. Um, there's this um, term about uh, you know art, uh, art uh, a term called art bug which means when you look at too much art you start looking at everything as art and I think that's very helpful and that's very necessary for people to me to be more sensitive and aware and appreciate the beauty in simple things in everyday life. I hope not because I'm an old school paint on canvas guy so um, um, no, and um, I, I, I don't think so though, I don't think so because the, the, the physical painting is different because um, there's an energy that comes with a painting when you put your hand in something, it does show. I find that sometimes when I'm working on a painting and uh, I make a mistake and uh, I feel, I, I think about it as a mistake even though 
there are no such things as, as mistakes in, in artworks. But when I try to replace or, or you know, cover up um, the work, it, uh, it, it does show, even if it doesn't, if, even though you can't physically see it, the energy that comes with it does remain there. So um, digital art is kind of is an interesting topic because my previous series, uh, the last series I've worked on, Blackened, it's meant to be a reaction against digital art because I found that most artists um, are very happy with uh, you know, posting Instagram friendly images, the poppy colors and flat images and, and stuff like that, that look good on screens. So I made a body of work that does not look good on screens. It's meant for you to uh, see uh, in person. They're black on black paintings, so it's, they look different from different angles, different lighting. So, uh, so no, I hope uh, traditional painting. I feel free when I'm painting. I feel at home, I feel uh, um, I feel comfortable, I feel, I work with my arms, I don't really work with my hands, my paintings are big and I use my arms and I move around and I'm very messy and uh, I get covered in paint and I enjoy the, um, I enjoy it because it's a very, uh, it's a very deep process, it's something that is very stimulating of the mind, the soul and also physically, so uh, it's unmatched with uh, anything else. I think art is very therapeutic. I think uh, most people would agree that music is therapeutic and I think uh, painting and, and art is the same. Um, it depends on the person, how the person wants to work, but I mean I can even imagine someone doing something meticulous and small and, and taxing and difficult to do. That, that person might enjoy it, but for me I, I have a blast when I'm painting, I, I, it's very fun. I would love to have um, a larger reach. I'd like my work to uh, reach more people. I want to um, be able to inspire, provoke ideas, and uh, share my work, my, jo my journey, and, my, and the things that inspire me. Um, yeah, I'd love to be in, uh, in, in that position, yes. I think the best advice, as cliche as it may sound, is, is you have to be yourself. But not just be yourself but understand what it means to be yourself and understand the difference between gaining inspiration from something or some other artist and having your own style. Um, I find that most um, young artists, I see at least, um, focus on maybe mimicking different artists or maybe applying a similar style but I feel like if you strip down everything, strip down yourself also and look deep within yourself and understand who you really are, it will be very easy to create art that, will, that you would like because it's a version of yourself. Uh, my advice or last words would be um, always try to take a deeper, longer look at things. Um, you develop this skill by, uh, through looking at art, but um, I think this can be taken away and applied to, to life in general. I mean, if you take a longer look at um, your actions, a longer look at uh, the things you do and, and, and the implications of, of certain small things that um, um, happen. I, I want to say something about the environment because uh, currently I've been very um, interested in trying to become an environmentalist and understand um, the footprint I leave as a human being and how I can um, how I can make the the world the world physically a better place for my for future generations by using less plastic and uh, being more consciously aware. I think that's uh, very important to me.